everybody it is jimmy g in the place to be bringing you back another more than meets the eye episode of the good the bad the awesome where we unbox give my first reaction and all sorts of stuff of transformers star wars uh anime mcfarland figures dc sprinkle in with a bunch of stuff so if this is your first time here like and subscribe let's do this thing let's go on this journey together of wonder and childlike fun uh and if you've been here before you know what we're doing we're having a great time here uh and so again we're close to that thousand mark so let's continue thank you thank you thank you again for all the support we're getting there and hopefully to be there by the end of the year um before i get into what we want to review today i like to highlight channels every now and then of uh channels that i discover and that i find that i think are very interesting uh or very cool and this 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 video, uh, I want to highlight the channel Crafts, cra no, it's Craft Collects, Craft Collects. Uh, uh, he, he's got some really, really cool stuff. And the way I discovered him is uh, I was revisiting some of my older videos in my MHZ Tiger Wing video. And in the recommendation, uh, Craft Collects video on Tiger Wing came up and I watched it. I, was, I thought it was a really, really great video. I reached out to him, said, hey, awesome video. I have the same one. I've had the same issues with mine. Uh, and, uh, and asked him, hey, can I just give you a plug on my website? And he said, sure go for it and so uh not my website my my youtube channel and so i'm giving you that plug so look in the links down below click on it uh look for crafts collects support them really great youtuber uh and uh who knows maybe we'll do a live together sometime craft collects if you want to do a live together i'd love to do a live together let's do it uh, so let us go to the world of magic square and in the world of armed combat and look at a combaticon today let's do it here we go, folks. Part three of the Bruticus Project. Is that what I'm going to call it? The Bruticus Project? So here is Magic Square's Night Tracer, a.k.a. Onslaught. And I got both versions here. I got the G1 and the IDW version. We're just going to compare the differences between the two and uh, let you know and make let you make the informed decision on which one you should go with. Now, we I do have a Vortex and I do have the Space Shuttle, but I'm waiting on the IDW version of the Space Shuttle before I do that review. And then what we'll do is at the end, we'll combine them all. And uh, that last video, we'll combine them all and show you the combined version. But if you don't know about the uh, Combaticons, they're pretty cool. I'll put a link down that that uh, explains a lot better than I can about them. But here it is, Night Tracer, AKA Onslaught. Both of the boxes look very cool. I love how this has the original G1 look. This one's more, you know, kind of got the foil. That's really cool. Uh, and that's about it on that one. But on the back of this one, you got kind of the stats and all that kind of cool stuff too. But let's get them out of the box and let us see them with all the stuff you get and here you have them folks out of the box and so on the right here or left whatever on this side we have idw on this side we have g1 and uh both of them what you get is basically the chest piece and kind of the the leg piece here um uh, I believe that's what that part is. Uh, I don't know for sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but one of them, you have the IDW version. The other one, you have the G1 version. You both, you get this uh, packet full of the card as well as the instructions. Now the IDW one has a card that's kind of mimics the box. Uh, whereas the G1 version has one that looks more G1-y uh, on that. Guns are looking the same. Biggest difference uh, so far when you look at the accessories, of course, uh, when you look at these pieces, of course, this will match uh, the legs for um, uh, the G1 Bruticus when you got Swindle and um, uh, Brawl on there. And then, of course, you got all gray on this one. And then you can kind of see the chest piece. You got the more round and the colorful looking one there and the more angular one right there uh, for the IDW. So, um, that's that for Bruticus, but we won't be getting into those because we're not combining uh, yet. But I mean, I'm really digging both of them. I, I, uh, I've always seen the IDW one more, uh, but I really dig the G1. I love the smooth, the colors and things like that. And it, it looks it looks really, really cool. But uh, but yeah, we're not here to talk about that. 
but let's take a look at the main events here and kind of what you can already see as the difference look at the visor so the g1 you got more of a yellowish orange eyes whereas the idw you got kind of the red or the blood orange eyes on that uh, but you can kind of see those side by side trying to get the lighting the same other than that coloring is the same everything else is is pretty pretty much the same on this these guys so you can let me turn it so you can kind of see both of them the same way uh, so yeah you can see color looks the same from the back and then from this side too as well uh, all the same the only big difference are the eyes and i believe in vehicle mode uh, they're going to be identical uh, so uh, let's just go through articulation really quickly uh, but from a, actually from a let's go through can't forget about the ramen scale right uh, so some people are like oh no not the ramen scale oh well, we gotta have it that's that's a moral imperative to have the ramen scale so from guns to uh the bottom we're looking at about a five ramen high uh maybe just a hair more but that about five uh is what you're looking at on those uh but let's take a look at articulation and we'll we'll use the idw one uh for the articulation test here and so you can kind of see the head it's on a ball so you got you got some great movement there uh for that head uh and then before we get into the arm articulation we'll get that rotisserie kind of uh view there got onslaught roasting on an open fire brawl is picking at his nose swindle singing songs by the fire and vortex running like eskimos everybody knows space shuttle and some mistletoe <laughs> but the arm yep you have it that goes all the way out all the way up like so too as well you have the twisty twisty and twisty twisty uh and you do have uh it's like a you know more than a 90 degree bend there uh with the elbow and you also have a bend like a butterfly kind of joint there that kind of lets you bend that in just a hair too which is really really cool and you can go 360 with it and then the hands you do have some twists there now unlike any other magic square ones it doesn't come with some extra hands and stuff like that so you don't get that the waist you do have an ab crunch unlike some of the others you don't but this one you do and uh, you do have a twist but it doesn't go all the way around it just goes that much pretty much that much pretty much um, and then if we lift the arms up and take a look at the legs uh, you do have the Jean-Claude and I believe these the, these uh, leg skirts kind of get in the way but those can pop up so you can really get that splitting out there as much more more than Jean-Claude he is very flexible very flexible let me get him back into the camera mode but there he is very flexible uh, and then you do have leg twist uh, and then no twist right there but you do have more than a 90 degree uh, bend on the leg and then ankle tiltage up and down and all sorts so you can really get him doing some crazy poses look at me look what I can do all right Stuart all right so uh you can get him doing some really really crazy things if you want to uh but we won't because you're onslaught you're a combaticon you're not a clown a clownicon uh so combaticon there we go let's see if i can get him standing kind of a little bit straight but overall feel again i really love magic squares plastic i think it feels really great uh but uh yeah there they are and let's go ahead and let's bring in some other bots that we can kind of just kind of show you for comparison and here they are for comparison so first of all we have new ages optimus prime and onslaught just towers over them uh core class optimus and then of course magic squares uh brawl and magic Squares swindle definitely onslaught's much bigger than them he should be he's the leader right then we got dx9's uh vasily or aka double dealer or double clouder and then of course the voyager class bludgeon who's one of my all-time favorite legacy bots there but that's how he looks compared to others and so let's do this let's get 
we're going to transform just one of them into the car mode because I believe, again, uh, the, the vehicle mode is very, very s similar on both. The only big difference is going to be your visor there. Uh, but let's do that. Let's get them into vehicle mode. Folks, here he is in vehicle mode. Night Teresa or Onslaught. Should be like, you know, Onslaught just sounds so intimidating. Uh, how about Big Blue Truck, Bluey? bluey or onslaught there we go <clears throat> so transforming him i didn't even bother taking the instructions out because these are not very clear I, any magic square one i've done before they're not 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 very clear so i just went on youtube and uh streak shooter tf i'll put a link to it he had a really great uh instructional and i tell you what I was able to follow that. I'm more of a visual. You show me how to do it. I can get it done. But that is it right here. So here he is in vehicle mode as his transport. Um, and what's so cool is you can store the weapon right up here on it. Uh, but uh, let's take a look. And one of the things I love about Magic Square, again, their engineering uh, and how they hide stuff is very, very good. Uh, now, uh, when you look at this, I mean, there's a lot of tabbing and things like that. Um, the plastic, again, this feels really great. The windows are painted on. Uh, the gas cans are painted on. But here it is from the side, the front, this side, the top, and the bottom and on the bottom you can kind of see where he is kind of robotish you can see his legs here hands right here the head i did kind of an alternate kind of uh setup where you could have the head just showing and what i did was i kind of just kind of popped it where it's just 90 degrees so you don't really see the head i like that a little bit better uh it would have been cool if there was something to cover this part uh so that way it just kind of cleaned it up a little bit but other than that uh that's just a minor qualm uh or quibble uh about it uh now the other thing too that you can do, you can have guns in, they can go in like so, or guns out. But the other thing as well is you can, you can adjust how you want it. So if I want the gun further back, I can have it laying further back so you can kind of see it doesn't lay on the truck just quite like the, the way, but it's more further back. Um, and you can have these do move up and down. So move up. Uh, uh, but, uh, or again, this, this little joint here, you just kind of come up, mm. come on, doesn't like to play, doesn't like to play, play right, play right with me, but anyway, and yeah, you can see it's kind of more frontish of the, the, uh, on the truck there uh, so however you want it you can I kind of like the guns kind of leaning back a little bit more now up front more you can use I think the storage uh, for these is a lot better uh, for like storing the other vehicles because that's what onslaught does is he is a vehicle storing kind of uh, dude uh so like for example let's just throw a um, brawl on here and he kind of is i think works better if the guns are forward as kind of that storage whereas versus if the guns are back uh he would kind of be hanging off just a hair but still would be able to store but just hanging off a hair but uh from a weapons mode standpoint having him back a little bit more uh is kind of cool I think, and then you can see here how it just comes off the edge a little bit more uh, with those vehicles there. And these guns, you can point them up. I don't like them kind of pointed up. I like them kind of pointed a little bit straight there. There we go. And then the, the turret does rotate and move. So that's what's really cool about it too as well. This, the I would say this, the Magic, Magic Square has got combiners down pat. I mean, my first Magic Square combiner is... Um, Minasaur. I've also got the Devastator one. I haven't put it together yet, but this one, I mean, mwah, P 
piece de resistance. Now, the IDW version, I didn't transform the IDW version. He's still, he's still right here. Uh, but the only difference, and I'll put a picture, is on the bumper. Uh, so whereas this is gray right here on the G1, on the IDW, it's blue. It matches, it's color matched to the car on that. But other, th other than that, exactly the same. Same transformation, same everything, just that slight difference there. Unlike in robot mode where you have the, the visor is the difference there too as well. The only one that really didn't have any differences was this guy. This guy didn't have a lot of differences, but anyway, that's okay. But um, very, very, very cool. Uh, let's do this. Let's show you kind of from a ramen scale standpoint, because uh, he's a long boy, long boy. Uh, so you got two, about one and a half ramens, and he is about two ramens high with those guns. Uh, so, but let's get some other vehicles and just kind of show you how he looks with some other vehicles. And here he is with some other vehicles. So we got, of course, his Magic Square buddies here, Swindle and Brawl, uh, or um, I forgot what they're called from the Magic Square <laughs> versions. Uh, but And then we have MHZ's Wheelie. This You pay for this and you get a free Grimlock. Uh, you can see my review of that if you want to. Uh, we got uh, Transformers Legacy Blitzwing and then Magic Square's Masterpiece Level Ultra Magnus or Star Commander. But that's how he looks compared to some other vehicles kind of onslaught here in robot modes kind of doing that redneck thing riding on the back of a truck just get you know getting ready to do a little mailbox uh baseball so uh but i digress it's all about these guys right here the combaticons let's do a hero shot here right boom let's get you all out of the way wheelie get you out of the way but if you did like this that looks pretty cool, right? Pretty, pretty cool. Military vehicles are awesome. We can do like this, boom, or we can kind of, kind of, oh no, drunk. Kind of do like that. That's kind of awesome, right? Boom. I mean, you can have all sorts of fun with this. Uh, really have a good time. Uh, but I cannot wait to open the other ones, Tornado or AKA Vortex, and then uh, and then blast off or, or Space Shuttle from there. I just gotta wait for the IDW version of Space Shuttle before I can do that review, and then we can combine them to form Bruticus. Uh, but let's get back together, talk through some of my final thoughts on Magic Square's Night Tracer, AKA Not Onslaught. My final thoughts on Magic Square's Night Tracer, AKA Not Onslaught. So let's bring the boys in, cause I got two of them. And so I got the one in the bot mode and this one is the IDW version that's in bot mode, has the darker visor. I think perfection again, really, really love. Magic Square does a really nice job. Um, there are, there are two legend companies that are, are the ones to beat, uh, Magic Square and New Age. Now, uh, Iron Factory is doing some really, really cool stuff too, so don't don't count them out. There's a lot of Legends company, but two of the ma major players, Magic Square and Iron Factory, there's like a faction of who likes either. You know what? They could all live in harmony. They're all great. Uh, New Age kind of has a, a, a premium feel, where these, I mean, these, these do feel premium, but uh, I think Magic Square has a more G1 authentic look to it. And, and I really dig their stuff. And plus they're cheaper. Uh, and so that's what's, that's what's really great. And some people, they're turned off by the plastic, but I love the feel of this plastic. It's awesome. Uh, but there he is on slot. And let's go ahead and bring in the alt mode one there too as well. Boom, boom, onslaught alt mode. Just so cool. Both of them are here and they're ready to, to do their business. Now, one thing I'm discovering as I continue to make these videos and as I continue to transform, these things get easier. Uh, so when my first Magic Square Legends, I think it took me like four, three, maybe like three hours to transform because I just got lost and and I, I refused to look at YouTube videos and I humbled myself, looked at some YouTube videos and this one only took me about 45 minutes to uh, to transform and, and I really didn't have to go back and move stuff back around. I, I followed the instructions really well and it, and it worked great. And so pros on this, I love the G1 look. I love how awesome it is uh, and, and very, very cool. Some of the cons that I do have, um, there's not much, uh, is just under underneath could have a little bit more fit and finish. Cause let me show you. So for example, um, 
this is Swindle. So even though you can tell it's a robot, but it, it, it's a little more covered up than uh, than this one here. I think it'd be cool to have some like little just caps right there to kind of close that off. <laughs> Again, at Magic Square, you're making me doing a lot of tabbing. So you might as well just have tabs, 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 tabs of all sorts of stuff. And that's the one thing I've learned about Magic Square is you got to tab and you got to be good at it. Uh, but uh, that is my only really minor quibble because I think this, this figure is just about perfection. And um, I think they did a great job. They, they knocked it out of the ballpark and I cannot wait uh, to open up Vortex and I cannot wait to open up Space Shuttle uh, or AKA Blast Off. And then I can't wait to combine them into Bruticus because because Magic Square, dang it, you do a great job with combiners. Uh, so, and if you haven't watched my previous videos of Swindle and uh, Brawl, uh, I'll put a, put a link down below. Uh, Munitioner, oh, that's his name. Uh, and then uh, the other one I forgot. But um, Windshield Wiper, maybe that's his name. But on a scale of good, bad, awesome, these are war machine fan freaking tastically awesome onslaught onslaughtily awesome it's how great he is and so i will give you that now yeah i will not like you can see in the video i did not make you suffer through my transformation there are other people that do it better than me and i'll put links to that uh but i just want to give you my reaction my first thoughts on it and i think he's awesome i think he's great uh if you want to pick him up uh there are several websites you can go to if you're willing to wait you can go to magic squares website shows the store bombusbee.net pick him up for a really really good price but you have to wait probably at least a couple weeks uh at soonest for it to get over from overseas but if you can't wait and you need to have it uh you can go to big bad toy store tf source tf uh uh some other ones uh chosen prime uh and you get those quicker but you will be paying more for them and so patience young grasshoppers and i would say just go ahead and order those online magic square hasn't let me down yet they got great after sales service and support uh they've been always been awesome to me uh so thank you magic square and i'll put a link to their their website down below but that's all i got to say about that so tune in next time when we talk about something good bad or awesome and you know what i want you all to Man, stay young, have fun. This is Thanksgiving week. Eat some turkey, eat some stuffing, eat some cranberry. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, just eat. Eat till you're happy and full. Because you know what? Die, oh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. Out, evil spirits. So, uh, so philosophy, die happy, make a pretty corpse, right? Uh, so uh, bury me in a piano, whatever you want to do, but uh, eat some good food this Thanksgiving. But remember, uh, stay young, have fun, be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.